Your Excellencies, the UNECE comprises 56 nation states in Europe, North America and Asia. And 75% of the inhabitants live in cities. So not surprisingly, the Regional Action Plan is about the importance of urban planning. And within that bigger picture of urban planning, housing, and particularly affordable housing. To create a framework, a network of civic leaders, uh, of ministers, of experts who can come together and pool their knowledge through discourse, debate, um, uh, research, exploration together. To promote action requires words, a report, a directive, an encouragement to reinforce the power of the message. It was suggested to me that I might illustrate the report. Somebody once said of me, if you ask Norman Foster a question, he'll do you a drawing. So when the United Nations suggested that perhaps I might illustrate their reports, their action plan, then I was not only sympathetic, but I was enthusiastic. What are the important messages of urban planning to communicate. The importance of neighborhoods within a city, the relationship of the city to the region, avoiding sprawl which is not sustainable, rather encouraging the compact city, the walkable, pedestrian-friendly city. The importance of public spaces to improve the quality of urban life planting trees, creating new parks, squares, getting a good balance between the mobility of cars and trucks and the pedestrian realm, the civic realm. The importance of good practice in building materials to reduce the carbon footprint. A wide variety of affordable housing which has good contact with nature. The importance of mixing different activities together, avoiding the segregation of one kind of activity. Mixed use, the very essence of a neighborhood. We also talk about the resilience of cities, how cities respond to emergencies, whether those are natural disasters, uh, response in terms of fire uh, emergencies and for those communities which are informal, informal settlements rather than the formal city which lack many of the basic provisions of power, of clean water, sanitation, transforming those from within because invariably they are communities of hope and not despair. So transforming them rather than demolishing them with all the social problems that follow from that. So all of these messages come together in the regional action plan. Post-COVID, we very much hope that, that those principles, that report, will be endorsed by the gathering of ministers. Thank you.